After lunch, it's back to the farm at full speed. It's a trip Malcolm Fraser often makes and takes around three quarters of an hour. And when Noreen is finally reached, it makes a welcome change of pace. Well, it's my home. It's my family's home. And uh, I haven't spent, uh, I suppose, in recent years all that much time here. But um, uh, above all else, it, uh, that, that's what it is. It's home for the family. And uh, also, sometimes it's uh, been very much a refuge from politics. And, uh, as a, a private member, uh, we used to be able to spend a lot more time here, but that was, um, well, very nearly 10 years ago. Uh, and then, as a minister and as leader of the opposition, it meant uh, more and more time uh, away from Noreen, and uh, also, unfortunately, more and more time out of Wanham. And uh, being prime minister uh, just exaggerates all of that. Uh, this time of the year, I suppose we're here more than any other over Christmas and the New Year. Um, it will be possible to get here over the weekends, uh, occasionally, but probably not very often. Do you try to seal yourself off here, or do you, do you have all the, uh, the, the trappings of power, if you like? Well, it's nice to be able to seal yourself off if you can. Uh, I think anyone needs, a, anyone with a fairly busy life needs some way of escaping. And fishing, maybe, is, is one of the best ways of that, because you, you can... Uh, well, there's no media, no television, no, no telephones, and no newspapers. But um, a prime minister's got to be accessible. And so we've got telephones, there has to be a teleprinter put in, so you, if uh, some sort of emergency arises, a secure message can be got to you at a moment's notice. You can't really, uh, doing the job properly, afford to be out of contact, uh, I think, even for 24 hours. And uh, therefore, you know, the job has to follow you to a certain extent. Looking back on the past election campaign and the events leading up to it, uh, to what extent were you able to, to plan things out, to, to map out the alternatives available both to you and to Mr Whitlam? I think fairly carefully. Uh, I think Mr Whitlam made a great error of judgment in assuming that under all circumstances a Governor-General would have to accept the Prime Minister of the day's advice, because, uh, well, there's no need to, to revive that history, but I always believed that there were circumstances in which there was an independent capacity on the part of uh, uh, the Governor-General in Australia or on the part of the Queen uh, in the United Kingdom, and uh, that proved to be correct. Uh, and it was also not conceivable that the stalemate could be allowed to continue throughout the summer months. Uh, it was never conceivable that a half-Senate election was really a solution to the constitutional difficulty that had arisen. And that, if you like, was a, another miscalculation of uh, Mr Whitlam's. But um, we also thought that it was going to be difficult until we actually got into an, an election. But uh, once an election was on, um, I believe that people would focus on the economic issues, on the kind of government they'd had for three years, and they'd seriously ask themselves whether they wanted that sort of government for the next three years. Um, so it could be thought through and was thought through fairly carefully, but um, you can never guarantee things in politics. It depends upon the judgment of a very large number of people.